Hi, I'm Beth with American Patchwork and Quilting, and welcome to another tips video for our Blast from the Past mystery sampler. American Patchwork and Quilting is turning 30 in 2023, and we're counting down to our anniversary with this mystery sampler featuring 30 blocks, one from each year of our history. This month, we're releasing two blocks, blocks 19 and 20, and these are both really simple blocks, so today I'm giving tips for making simple blocks pop. My favorite way to add interest to simple blocks is by fussy cutting. So on our spool block, we have a four and a half inch square in the center that we can use to feature a fun print, or we've got this adorable quote panel from this collection. It's called Songbook, a new page by Fancy That Design Co. from Moda Fabrics. And I just love these uplifting quotes so cute with the typography. So I want to see which one of these will fit best in the space that I have. So I made this little viewing window and I just cut out my finished size center square. So that's four inches out of this manila folder. And then that way I can look and see which one is going to fit and what portions of the design I can feature. So you can see this one does not fit as well. You're going to cut off some of the text. So we don't want to use that one. So once I decide which one I would like and I've got it centered where I would like the design, then I just mark the corners with a pencil and then cut it out. Now, because I used the finish size, I will have to cut that out a quarter inch away from those marks just to have that full size piece. And you can do this the opposite way too if you wanna cut your actual cut size in the viewing window, it's just personal preference. But that really helps me know exactly what I'm going to get in my block. Another thing you can try is playing a little bit with the color placement. So here is our spool block, here's the original, but I thought this also could look like a beveled frame. So for the quote, I thought that would look really nice framed out. So I grabbed a couple of solids from the Crossweave collection, also by Moda Fabrics, and I grabbed two colors that were very similar. So I think that looks like a frame and just gives it a little bit of dimension, but a totally different look. So you can also do that with the other block as well. So here I just reversed the color and background portion. So you can get kind of this ring and then also kind of this apple core look. So that's a fun way to kind of adjust that if you aren't a big fan of any of the blocks, see what else you can do with them. Another fun idea is to add a little bit of embellishment. I thought adding a little stitching to this thread spool would be a great way to give it a little bit more dimension. If you are going to do this, we'd recommend using some stabilizer. It can help prevent puckers on your fabric, especially when you're using a real dense stitching. This one's not too bad, but definitely does still have some puckering. So adding a little bit of stabilizer to the back will just help prevent that. I'm adding a serpentine stitch across the center of the spool and then going a little bit off to just give it that loose thread effect. Another way to embellish your blocks is by using applique. So I have my AccuQuilt Go Me die cut machine and this really cute flower shapes die and I thought this heart would be very fun on the ring block. And I like to use a fusible on the back of my shapes before I cut them out. So I've ironed this on and you just wanna make sure you're picking the correct product for what you're going to do with it. So if you're going to finish your applique shape by sewing, you want the heat and bond light in the purple package. This is for sewing. And then if you don't want to sew that, you just want to iron it on and leave it that way. Then you want the ultra hold in the red package. This is no sew. So I like the ultra hold. So I've got that on. I'm going to put it over my little heart there and then send this through my die cut machine. Got some bonus shapes there, but then you have your little heart and just peel off the paper backing and then you can iron this where you would like it on your block. So here are my two completed blocks along with more of this gorgeous collection that I was sewing with today. Again, it's called Songbook, a new page by Fancy That Design House and Co. for Moda Fabrics. So this is a gorgeous line with florals and butterflies and of course, that beautiful quote panel. This is a larger size than we cut up for the smaller block earlier and just love the details on these. 
Once you've finished customizing your two blocks, please share them with us in our Facebook group or on Instagram with the hashtag APQBlastFromThePast. Happy sewing!